What's up, friends, and welcome back to the channel. So let me set the scene. I'm scrolling through the old gram, looking at health content, and then bam, there's Dave Asprey talking about none other than activated charcoal. And you can take activated charcoal, which everyone listening should be taking. And I don't sell any of this stuff. I'm just recommending things. This binds to toxins in food, man-made or just because it's been sitting out for a long time. You will have less hangover if, if you take activated charcoal. So if you're gonna eat junk food or a lot of food, activated charcoal will really help you feel better the next mm. day. And it sounds compelling, right? I mean, if the father of biohacking says it's the ultimate hangover cure and a daily detox essential everyone should be taking, then it's gotta be true, right? Well, not so fast. While activated charcoal definitely has some legit health benefits, we'll talk about those in a second, taking it every single day, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. So in this video, we're gonna dive into the history of this famous black powder, talk about its pros and cons, discuss when you might actually want to use it, and most importantly, talk about why it is not your everyday magic pill. So let's get right into it. And activated charcoal, it's been around forever, like ancient Egypt forever. Back then it was used to treat wounds and even purify water. But fast forward to now, a few centuries later, and it has become actually a life-saving tool in modern medicine. Doctors today still use it in the ER to treat poisoning or overdosing because it's ridiculously good at binding to toxins in the stomach before they get absorbed. So think of it like a toxin sponge with all these superpowers. It traps your chemicals, it's gonna trap heavy metals, and even some pesticides like glyphosate before flushing them out of your system. And that's because activated charcoal, it is an amazing chelator, meaning it binds to toxins and then prevents them from being absorbed into the bloodstream. But somewhere along the way, it went from being this kind of niche emergency use remedy to starring in everything from black lattes to toothpaste to believe it or not, ice cream. So how the hell did we get here? I think the answer is pretty obvious, great marketing, plus a little sprinkle of pseudoscience to make it sound like it is the cure-all for everything and anything that could be possibly wrong with your body. But here's the thing. Activated charcoal, yes, it can be very useful in some situations. As I mentioned, it's known to detox heavy metals like mercury and lead, even arsenic, preventing them from accumulating in the body. And some research even suggests it could reduce glyphosate exposure, which is a herbicide that is found in a lot of conventionally grown food. It also has a legitimate place in digestive health. If you're having bloating or gas, it could be helpful by binding to byproducts of digestion. And yes, yes, it may even help with hangovers, but here's the catch, only if you take it immediately after drinking, before the alcohol actually gets metabolized in your system. But, and this is a big but, it is not this magical detoxifier some people make it out to be. The problem is that charcoal doesn't discriminate. It doesn't just bind to toxins, it binds to everything it touches. So this is gonna include your nutrients from food, vitamins, minerals, and even medications. And then of course there are the side effects. So constipation is probably the biggest one. If you're not drinking enough water with activated charcoal, dehydration can become a big problem because charcoal's actually absorbing water in the gut. All that being said, should you just throw out the charcoal with the bath water? Not necessarily. I certainly think it definitely has its place. If you eat something that just isn't sitting right and you're feeling bloated or gassy, charcoal can help. Or if you've had one too many drinks and you wanna feel just a little less crappy the next day, taking charcoal right after drinking could help. But here's the thing, it's for occasional use, not something that you wanna incorporate in your daily health routine. Maybe you'd want to take it for a couple days in a row if you're doing some type of one week heavy metal detox. But if you're also taking hundreds of supplements a day, like Brian Johnson and Dave Asprey, taking activated charcoal with that seems like a big waste of money. At the end of the day, we've got these amazing organs, your liver and your kidneys. They're already doing a great job of removing toxins from your body. And they really don't need any extra help 
from this trendy black powder. The real detox magic at the end of the day is way simpler, and less marketable, but it's true. Drink your water, eat whole foods, and then let your body do what it was designed to do. Sure, charcoal can definitely have its moments of glory, but if you're using it every day, you're probably doing more harm than good. And so that's it for today, guys. If you wanna share your experience with activated charcoal or maybe there's something I left out, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.